2014 LPGA Tour season is up and running and has already taken in three continents since the end of January. After stops in the Bahamas and Australia, it was on to Asia with tournaments in Thailand and Singapore. And the big talking point right now is the race to top the Rolex World Rankings. A thanks to a storming finish to last season, Suzanne Pedersen closed the gap on runaway leader Inby Park. And the bad news for the rest of the tour is that Suzanne is rested and raring to go as she looks to reach top spot for the first time in her career. I took a long break. I felt like I, uh, the older you get, uh, the longer break you need to kind of recharge. So I um, just really enjoyed uh, almost a month at home in Norway. Um, spent some time with my boyfriend, uh, hung out with my friends, just uh, being a normal girl. It wasn't all about rest and recreation though. After taking that time off, Pedersen set about strengthening her already powerful game. A combination of training and some minor equipment changes have meant the Norwegian is now hitting the ball further than ever. On an average, I'm probably a little bit longer off the tee. Uh, irons are still very good. Uh, my irons have always been quite long to start, but I always felt like I had more in the tank for the driver. and. Uh, I'm pretty happy where my game is at at this point of the season. My first really peak that I would love to really be in good form is uh, obviously the craft. So every tournament from now until craft is kind of a build up and trying to build your game. So far Suzanne's won two majors, the first back in 2007 at the LPGA Championship and the second in 2013 at the Evian Championship in France, the first time that tournament was played as an LPGA major. Obviously, uh, what defines a career at this point is maybe how many majors you can get under your belt. Uh, I feel like I'm good enough and capable to pull off all five. Um, felt like I waited long enough for Evian, uh, smart enough to wait until it became a major before I won it. Uh, so definitely one of the tournaments that I've had on my bucket list to win uh, of all the tournaments we play. The other recent highlight for this proud ladies European Tour graduate was Europe's historic Solheim Cup win in 2013. Having never won on American soil before, the landslide victory was secured by a European side featuring no fewer than six rookies. I felt like it was a very different team. It was a bit quiet to start off the week, but uh, the young uh, youngsters got very comfortable very quickly and uh, uh, was uh, dancing, singing, cheering on the bus rides back and forth to the golf course. And uh, it was uh, quite uh, impressive to sit and watch the youngsters, especially on Saturday afternoon when they uh, all went out and just played for the team and uh, played their hearts out and pretty much put Europe in a position we've never been before, before the singles. So uh, it was a great win. Uh, that was two in a row. We've done it in Europe, now we've done it in America. So now we've got to uh, demonstrate and uh, dominate back in Europe, in Germany in 2015. The European victory was an illustration of just how strong women's golf has become internationally. There's a new generation of players making their mark on the LPGA Tour, and the strength in depth means everyone now has to raise their games. No, you know what, I just find it great. I've been a part of a, a great group of girls for quite a few years now, who's kind of striving for the number one, and uh, they all seem to come at us at a younger age. Um, and I think it's good. I think they make us better, and I think together we all make each other better. As well as the competition coming from new young guns like Lydia Ko, Suzanne also looks to the stars of the men's game for her inspiration, and crucially to help her identify where she needs to improve if she wants to continue her rise in the Rolex rankings. Yeah, I think ever since I started playing golf, I was always hanging around the guys, I always play with the guys and train with the guys, and uh, at a more grown up age, I kind of spent a lot of time with the best uh, players in the world on the men's side and learned a lot and I think uh, they make me dig even deeper uh, to find a way to execute shots and uh, it's all about adding to your library and feeling comfortable with what you have but also feeling like you can play any course under any conditions. Her inner drive to stretch herself and succeed regardless of what goal throws at her is what pushes Suzanne. And as long as she continues to improve her game, she feels that tournament wins and world ranking gains will naturally follow. It's more the competitiveness. I want to see how good I can be. Uh, I feel like I've reached uh, parts of my potential, but not like the overall picture. And uh, uh, 
the day when I wake up and I don't find the encouragement of uh, jumping out of bed, uh, uh, striving for new, new achievements, then I think I'm done. So, uh, uh, so far no problems getting out of bed in the morning.